Hey, how's it going? I'm Tyler Casey, and today I'm gonna be going over Fresnel lights. Before I get into talking about Fresnel lights, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and if you find any of this information helpful, make sure to like the video, comment below what you thought, and check me out on Instagram as well at Tyler Casey Prod. So I have two Fresnel lights. I have an Ari Fresnel light, it's a 650. And then I have a 1K Chinese Fresnel light, which is okay. Basics about Fresnel lights, uh, they are usually tungsten based. So they create a very warm light. Their white balance is 3200 Kelvin. So it's a lot warmer of a look. The light I'm using right now is actually 3200 Kelvin. It's the uh, Aperture 120D LED. They take a lot of power and they're very fragile. You have to be very careful with the bulbs. You should take them out every time you transport them. Sometimes the bulbs slip out and break. Sometimes they blow out. You can't touch them with your fingers because the oils get on them. But there's a lot of great things about Fresnel lights as well. One cool thing you could do on the back is you can change the light from spot to flood, which is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna show an example of that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this light off. And then let's walk over here and let's turn the RV light on. Boom. So this is on flood right now. I'm a little overexposed. Let me, let me bring that down a little bit. All right. As you can see, let's see, filling in the shadows. The light's really harsh. Uh, I'm going to switch it over to spotlight mode. You can see if I put my arm up, we're getting really harsh shadows right there. And spotlight. Dude, the spotlight, man, that, that is bright. So you can see the difference between that light and that light. So there's lots of uses for this. The light quality is a lot different than an LED. It's one single source, so you can shape it. Uh, the 120D, you can actually shape it as well. I'll do that in a separate video. But basically with these lights is you can have a lot of accessories with them as well. You can use barn doors, you can put scrims, diffusion, soft boxes, all sorts of stuff on them. What's really nice is if you can shape the light, you can make it look however you want. You, there, one thing I like doing is either spotting or flooding it and bouncing it off the ceiling to kind of fill in the shadows on the face and whatnot. It creates a nice soft light because if you just shine the Fresnel light on someone, it's going to be a really harsh look and you're going to get really sharp shadows across the face. Sometimes you want that look, sometimes you don't. Another cool thing I like about the Fresnel light is sometimes in music videos, you've seen it a lot, they put them in the background of performance shots or just shots in general. And this looks really cool because they have the classic barn door look on them. So if you have the barn doors, it looks really cool. I've used this in a music video or two and it always creates like a nice hair light. Another thing that sucks about these lights is how hot they get. Um, you're gonna notice very quickly when turning it on, it's gonna start steaming up a room. And let's say you have four or five people on set filming in a room, it's gonna get hot real fast. And then also if you need to pack up and leave, you're also gonna have to wait for the light to cool down because you can't leave with the light hot. Other than that though, these are great lights to add to your collection. Um, you can do a lot of great things with them. You just have to be mindful of their pros and cons and see if it's the right light for you. So if you guys found this helpful, make sure to like this video, comment if you have any questions, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.